Hi, I'm Sheriff Gary Hoffman. I want to welcome you to this week's Queen Anne's County's Most Wanted. Welcome back to 2013. I can tell you last year we had a great year. On our year-end Most Wanted show that we previewed with you, our community, we had several closures. We had one arrest and we had one exceptional closure. But I can tell you if it wasn't for the help of the community on all the tips we've generated, a lot of those people on that 2012 Most Wanted list are going to be apprehended. And I can promise you one thing, we're still working those many, many tips that you guys provided to us from 2012's year-end Most Wanted show. Your police department serves you every day in a different way. The police are mighty handy in these circumstances. The life savings of many persons are still intact because of expert protection by their police. Holly Nicole Guide. She's wanted for a violation of probation on a theft charge. She's a white female, she's 27 years old. She's five foot seven inches tall and weighs about 135 pounds. She has black hair and brown eyes. Her last known address is Chapel Road near Cordova, Maryland. She also could be living in the West Virginia area. Jessica Rose Tryon. She was wanted on a theft charge for an authorized use of a motor vehicle and possession of a controlled dangerous substance. She was arrested on December 13th of 2012. Duval. She was wanted on a failing to appear charge for a controlled dangerous substance. She was arrested on January 8th by the Maryland Department of Transportation Authority Police. Our next one in person, D'Angelo Montrell Johns. He's charged with a failing to appear on a violation of probation hearing of a handgun possession charge. He's 25 years old, he's an African American male, he's 5 foot 10 inches tall, and weighs about 180 pounds. He has tattoos with a name on his neck and also the words death before dishonor on his right shoulder. In the past, he's worked for a concrete company. His last known address is Severn Island Court in Annapolis, Maryland. Our next one in person is Donald Franklin Marvel. He has a violation of probation charge on a theft conviction issued on November of 2012. He's likely in the Annapolis, Maryland area. He's six foot tall, weighs about 127 pounds. He has brownish blonde hair with blue eyes. He has a scar above his left eye. This is a special warning to the residents of Queen Anne's County and surrounding jurisdictions. Please take the time to check your credit card statements, especially this month. Several cases have been reported to our office on credit card fraud. They've been reported where unauthorized purchases have been made. Please take the time to verify your statements and make sure they're accurate. If not, please report any theft or misuse of your credit card to local authorities as soon as possible. Our next one in person is Nicholas Ramos Ramirez. He's wanted for sex abuse of a minor child. He's a Hispanic male, he's five foot eight inches tall, weighs about 185 pounds. He has black hair and brown eyes. He's possibly in Mexico, but could have returned to the US. This is one of those guys, if you have any information on this guy, this guy needs to be arrested. Larry Gene Smith Jr. He's 46 years old, he's five foot seven inches tall, and weighs about 170 pounds. He has brown hair and with hazel eyes. He's wanted on a violation of probation charge for failing to remain at an accident scene. His last known address was Laurel Hill Road in Greenbelt, Maryland. He goes by the alias of Craig Edward Purdy. Also, Smitty Smith, Sean Edward Purdy. He works in the area of construction. He has numerous tattoos on his chest, arms, right hand, his legs, and his cheek. If you have any information on this guy, you're urged to contact local authorities or send us that anonymous tip. The next following suspects did the right thing. They turned themselves in. They either saw themselves previewed on this show or on our website. Cherry Ann Brown, violation of probation warrant, came into our office on December 12th, 2012. Robert Rischel, failing to appear warrant for an assault from a 2010 case, came into our office on December 10th, 2012. Bernard Riddick, He's a sex offender failing to register. He surrendered in her office on December the 6th, 2012. Carrie Lee Kelly. This is our next wanted person. This person was profiled before. She was stopped. She was arrested. She was released. And again, she failed to appear. Another failing to appear warrant has been issued. She's a white female. She's 39 years old. She's five foot four inches tall and weighs about 225 pounds. She has blonde hair and blue eyes. She provided the court with an address in Cambridge, but rumor is she may be in the Delaware area. 
She was driving a 1999 Chrysler when she was stopped in June. If you have any information on her whereabouts, please contact local authorities. As many of you know that watch our show or check our press releases, one of the most common things that occurs in Queen Anne's County is the theft of items from unlocked motor vehicles. It is so important to take the time to ensure that your vehicle is locked and secure when you park it either in your driveway or out of the business. This is another one of those car shopping suspects. Recently in late morning hours, a suspect went into an unlocked vehicle in the northern part of our county. Then the suspect boldly attempted and did use the stolen credit card at a gas station in Millington, Maryland. We need your help. We need your tips. If you can identify this suspect, you're encouraged to please send us the information. Remember, your tips will remain anonymous. These are recent arrests by law enforcement. These persons were profiled recently on our show. Heath Eugene Roy, wanted on a failing to appear charge on an armed robbery and a first degree assault. He was arrested on December the 11th, 2012. Richard Donald Bless, he was wanted for taking the victim's car and their funds and offering to take care of her children while she was in the hospital. After two months on the run, located in Anne Arundel County, he's been arrested and is now currently in the Anne Arundel County Detention Center. Bethany Ann Ross, she was arrested on January 15th of 2013 for a bench warrant for a violation of probation charge on a controlled dangerous substance. After being in Florida for several months, she was located at a residence here in Queenstown. On Bethany and Ross, a special thanks to our viewers because I'll tell you, we couldn't have arrested her without those tips that you provided us. As always, this show would not be successful if it wasn't for the help of many people involved. But special thanks to you, the viewer, the citizens of Queen Anne's County, and our neighboring jurisdictions who watch this show. Your tips are so valuable, and we appreciate all the anonymous tips that we receive from you. As you can see, it's led to many arrests throughout the show in the past year. Special thanks to Queen Anne's County Commissioners, Queen Anne's County TV, and all the staff, men and women of Queen Anne's County Office of the Sheriff, and allied agencies. As many of you are aware, Valentine's Day is my favorite holiday. Please stay tuned for our upcoming Valentine's Day special. If you have any information about these wanted people or unsolved cases, please contact the Queen Anne's County Sheriff's Office at 410-758-0770 or email us at sheriffinfo at qac.org. We also recommend you follow us on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. With the tips we get from the viewers, we're hoping that some of the Queen Anne's County's most wanted get to experience this.